Hi, and welcome to London Visited. And this week, we show you three great things to go and see in London, three oddities. And we finish with this place, the Connaught Hotel, and something rather smart outside. Now, if you really wanna see some history on the streets of London, this obelisk is over 800 years old. Let me tell you more. This obelisk is first mentioned in the reign of King John, which is 1199 to 1216, although it could be rather older. This sits right in the middle of the street between Orgate High Street, Fenchurch Street and Leadenhall Street in EC3, and the nearest tube to it is Orgate. The most striking thing about the obelisk is this, the brass wolf's head, which is said to signify the last wolf shot in and around the City of London, which indicates the age of the various types of water outlet on this site. The water fountain doesn't work anymore and you can see the brass button above the wolf's head, but as you go around the obelisk and look to the back you can see the panel which operates the controls up to the light above the obelisk. But if you look down here you can now see the handle which was used as it for the water pump. You can imagine people from medieval times pumping this for the water to come out through the brass wolf's head. Again, this is over 800 years old and sitting here, right on the corner of a street. And it's amazing how many people just walk past here and have no idea to what this is. The original source of the water to the pump was an underground stream until it was found to have human remains in it, in which case it was then put into the main supply. Another beautiful thing about London, the old stuff just stands here from years gone by. Here we're looking at our second unusual place and we're standing under Blackfriars Railway Bridge. To the left is the Blackfriars Road Bridge and these are pillars that have been left by an old bridge by the side. The original bridge that passed over these pillars was opened in 1864 and was called St Paul's Bridge. A new railway line opened in 1884, which meant the use of passengers on this line across the old bridge was no longer used, but was only by freight traffic. Eventually the line was closed and the bridge was demolished as unsafe in the mid-1980s. The new bridge took the new railway line to Blackfriars Station and as you can see, the bridge support had three rows, two of which you can see standing free, but the third is actually built into the new bridge on the right hand side and follows all the way down, supporting the new Blackfriars Bridge. Another place in London where history is shown by the old remnants which were never cleared away. Welcome to silence outside the Connaught Hotel in Mayfair, where clouds of mist erupt from the base of two trees in the middle of this water fountain designed by a Japanese architect. The water runs over the edge of these granite rocks and the vapour goes for 15 seconds every 15 minutes. The circles you can see are all individual lights which light up the whole feature at night. The Connaught Hotel is located just to the south of Grosvenor Square and the reason for it is because they wanted to enhance London streets because the developers believed that it's not just about the buildings but it's the living space between the buildings as well. They believed putting in features like this would lessen the volume of traffic and make it a much more pleasant place to be. Three completely different things in the centre of London and there goes the mist again. If you look to the right, you'll see I've linked further things, ways of getting around London, but also some more oddities that you can see around central London. Click here and continue your London visited journey. Thanks for watching.